The European Cricket Championship is proudly brought to you by Dream Eleven, HCL Software, Paramatch, The Hunter Under the Thea, and Victorinox. Somewhat of a new you look team, a few names like Hassan Ahmed and Fahim Azir, who we've been used to seeing in the red and white over the years. They are not here, so an inexperienced group, certainly one that is is going to be spayed. Here's the start. Share to open the bowling. Sprays it down the leg side. It's an issue that Finland had in the first game. Rico. Ball outside off stump, but there's the offside game of Idris ul -Hark. Oh, he has gone over the offside. Opportunity for a catch, and it's well taken. Ravin Kumar took an excellent catch in game one. That's excellent bowling from Cher. He swung the first delivery to Stanek Zai down the leg side, corrected his line, got a bit of bounce climbing outside the off, and that's a great start for the Finns. Switzerland, seven for one. Full strike of the ball. Goes leg side, the first shot. Kumar's in the game again. He's tracking back, two in, two. And Finland are right on top here as Schur has bowled intelligently. Gotten two fly balls and Amadi is out for a golden duck. Would you believe it? Finland, they needed to bounce back. Remember, they got beaten quite comfortably in the earlier match by Belgium. They didn't pick up a single point. And here they are. And they have got Switzerland two down for just seven. Here we go, hat-trick ball. Right of off stump, doesn't miss the outside edge by Marches. On goes wide of off stump, that is one place you do not bowl to Idris. Smokes it over the cover boundary for a maximum over. Another one outside off stump. Idris just gets enough elevation. Oh, and gets absolutely obliterated. That ball better be carrying its passport because it won't be making its way back anytime soon. Maximo. Short ball, crunched again. Mighty, mighty strike from Idris. Goes again, hasn't timed it quite as well, but it's carried the boundary by a good 10 metres. Drifts down the leg side, that's well played by Deshaun. Outside off stump, crunch the leg side, beautiful cricket shot. Oh, beautifully bowled, and the leg spin works. Kushi has taken some learnings from that first game. That ball pushed through a little bit quicker. Deshaun decides to try to use his feet to get to the pitch. Big bit of side spin, well taken by the keeper, Jay Singer, and the third wicket back in the docks. Big swing across the line. He's made good contact, though, and Hazard taking no time to get into E6. Oh, doesn't matter what the breeze does, though, as Mahmood launches like a coiled spring. Kishi Flatter, swing across the line. It should be a keeper's catch. And the mood goes Maximo, Maximo out. And Kushi has his second wicket of the over. The Swiss 61 for four. Well, nice catch there taken. Quite easy, I suppose, there from Chanka and Jai Singer. But another one goes. But look, I don't mind that from Asad Mahmood. I mean, 12 of three balls. He certainly gets the, the score ball ticking pretty quickly. He flicks it to the leg, and unfortunately, he's hit it straight down the throat of Kumar, who has taken yet another catch. It's like he has got a gravitational force that is going his way. To be honest, that's an ordinary piece of cricket from Idris, just when he needed to keep control to dart around a little bit as well. Tumbling on for his second. Sin hasn't got a full piece. That's an excellent catch from the skipper, Armjad Sher. Tambe's bowled a good line and length so far. Sin trying to take him over, long on. Doesn't get a good piece of the ball. Short, outside off stump and smashed well. 
Ball lofted by Johnson, comes off the bottom of the bat, but remarkably he's placed it in between the triangular set of fielders. Most for a much needed four. Great to see as no one is hit straight hard. Cher makes a diving effort, can only parry it over the line, and that's uh, that could be a turning point, Rico. Running, but going nowhere. It's going to have to. Oh, oh this out. is close, Rico. I don't think it's even close. I think he's gone. And have a look. He is gone. Adios, baby. Yes, oh, that one nice is struck. And tell you what, he's found the gap. Beautiful shot from the Norena. Length ball high in the air. It will just carry the fielder out there wide of long on. And. Satya comes up with a Maximo, the last ball ruins Muhammad's figures. He ends up with 22 off his two overs, and boy, oh boy, did the Swiss need that flourish to finish. How important could that six right there at the end be? them against Spain so if they can get some points here and you need a little bit of luck as well and that is lucky he gets a almost the back of the bat it loops over the wicket keeper and they're off the mark as uh, Abbas Bhatt short ball and that is heaved over the leg side well wow. oh well too short again and eventually but is not going to refuse an invitation like that Oh, that's, it's gotten an inside edge. Well, I thought he actually just touched the pitch and that's what created the noise, but umpire's finger has gone up and Ahmed's eye coming over the wicket. Much needed. Oh, full toss and that's the spraying element. That's a terrible ball called no ball. Goes outside off stump, high in the air and it will carry. Out of those 12, there'll be some good ones. So he's sort of, you know what it's like as that one. That sort of sums it up. This is what I'm talking about. So the last. Oh, that's swatted. Like he's on a tennis court back in Marbella. Salad and slaps it past long on. Short again. Salad and pops it up. The skipper to Shane going back. Oh. And he takes a oh. wonderful catch. Can he tip to a run? Boundary. He does a little bit of magic from the skipper. The two hair bears, Saladin and Deshaun, in Ooh. the action. I thought for a moment there, Rico, his momentum was taking him over the boundary rope. But as it is, he's done a great job to stay in the field of play. Oh, that's crunched. Well, he might go back to bowling half trackers because he's been dispatched by Nallan Cherry. What a strike. Well, he takes the catch, and oh. now he's going to get blasted. That is big. That is humongous. That is absolutely thunderous. Goes for the slower ball. Hasn't got a good piece of it. Johnson's taken the cap off. He's got a good foot behind him, and that's a sensational return. He has got a very good slower ball, Deshaun, and he's come back after being annihilated first ball and got the wicket of Yellen Cherry, picking uh, it 65 for three. Oh, it's outside off stump. Unlucky as he draws what's somewhat of a false shot. Another change of pace, but that one sits in the wicket. A little bit telegraphed, and Cher has annihilated it into the pavilion. What a shot. And this is oh. going to be no exception. Bolle, bolle, bolle. Inna zona. Another length ball. The slow ball sits in the pitch. And Cher goes bang, bang, bang. Oh, that's hit straight to the field of Musa Ahmadzai. To be honest, it was an ordinary deliver for, delivery from Stanikzai. But somehow, but has managed to time the pants off it, but Cher oh. steps around. It's high, it's hanging up in the breeze, but it will just 
Parry over the head of... Oh, it goes big. Lovely strike over long on. Pacey, a bouncy of bowlers as Kumar drops short. And that's just too easy to share. Lops it over the leg side. Another Maximo. Drifts it on the leg side, and that's beautifully played. Wonderful shot from Tarbo to finish. And that is a both a much needed and a much deserved win for Finland. They have been excellent here in game three, and Switzerland have turned up somewhat off the pace.